You're watching 11 Alive Morning News. 11 minutes of nonstop news starts now. Your 11 minutes of nonstop news starts right now. Chesley, what are we seeing right now before we head out? Just a few clouds overhead. That's it. And the muggies are out there to greet you. You see those clouds in the background. You see the sun ricocheting off some of the buildings there. So we will get some sunshine early on this morning. There is a threat for some scattered showers as we head into the afternoon. So that's something that we'll have to be on the lookout for. But at least for this morning, you're starting off on the fair side. So not too bad as far as that front goes. As far as our temperatures go, we're starting off on the muggy side. Temperatures are in the 70s. Take a look. Look at this 75 degrees right now in Atlanta, 72 degrees over in Covington, 73 right now in Peachtree City. We're going to get up to 88 degrees by noon, 93 for your afternoon high today. We have team coverage on that officer involved shooting. We've been following for you all morning. Jerry Carnes, he's at the hospital with more on the officer's condition as well as the suspects. But first, let's start out with Molly Oak to walk us through the timeline. Molly, this all started and ended violently. Yeah, and it started in Clayton County, but ended here in Atlanta. And you can see with the light of day, if we zoom in and see a couple of Atlanta police cars over about a block away from me, and you see those evidence markers on top. Clayton County police, though, said it happened in their area last night with three different suicide calls saying the suspect, Ayanna Pryor, was the initial caller. The first call coming in at 940, the second from Pryor's mother about 25 minutes later, and the third at 11 o'clock last night. Police say that one was from Pryor, too, threatening suicide. When Officer Demika Lloyd arrived, police say Pryor shot at her twice, hitting Lloyd and then driving off in a Jeep heading northbound on 75 toward Atlanta. Now that's where Atlanta police stepped in, tracking Pryor down right here near uh, 51 Polar Rock Road. Police say the officers told her to show hands, but as the officer approached, police say the woman fired at the officer. Officer shot back, hitting her multiple times. Now police do say that no Atlanta officers are injured, but Atlanta police, Clayton County police, and the GBI all investigating this morning. All right, thank you, Molly. Let's go now to Jerry Carnes. He's picking up our team coverage. So, Jerry, what can you tell us about how that officer is doing right now there at Grady? Well, good morning. Both the wounded officer and the suspect are here at Grady, both in critical condition. Take a look. This is video from Clayton County Police Department's Facebook page of that wounded officer, Damika Lloyd, when she graduated from the county's police academy. Police Chief Kevin Roberts tells us Lloyd has been with the department a year and a half. According to her LinkedIn account, she was previously with the Army National Guard and the Georgia Department of Corrections. She has undergone surgery this morning again in critical condition. Throughout the morning, we have seen officers from various departments around Metro Atlanta gathering here to express their concern and pray for a full recovery. All right, thank you, Jerry. Sticking with your 11 minutes of nonstop news, here's what's happening now. Atlanta police are expected to give an update on the death of Katie Janice and her beloved dog in Atlanta's Piedmont Park. It's been one year today since someone stabbed them both to death. That killer still has yet to be found. Atlanta police say they also plan to talk about the death of 12 year old David Mack in his murder investigation. The young boy was found shot six times in the woods near his home back in February of 2021, a day after he disappeared. Monkeypox case numbers in Georgia going up day by day. Our state now topping 300 people with monkeypox. One man who's recovering from the virus, calling it the worst pain he's ever felt. The CDC says the virus can live on surfaces and spread to and from pets. Now they do recommend washing and disinfecting everything you touch. A new program that can help people living in Atlanta catch up on their water bills is launching today. The float initiative will make past due accounts current. It also offers interest free payment plans and one time grants or credits. That program also includes help for single family households and seniors. Sticking with your 11 minutes of nonstop news, we've been following the cases of rappers Young Thug and Gunner, who are now behind bars facing RICO charges. So we've poured through the indictment and Fulton County's district attorneys cites their own lyrics for helping to put them behind bars. Now Georgia Congressman Hank Johnson wants to help artists like them fight back against the legal system. He just introduced the Restoring Artistic Protection Act. The law proposes to keep prosecutors from using an artist's lyrics against them as evidence. They say freedom of expression is being stifled because there are no safeguards in place to ensure First Amendment rights for artists. 
Georgia's 2022 election a little more than 100 days away now. Our 11 Alive poll shows where candidates for the governor and Senate races stand. Our latest survey poll from USA Poll shows Republican incumbent Brian Kemp and Democratic challenger Stacey Abrams in a dead heat. Now that one point edge you see there for Kemp, it is well within the polls 5.3% margin of error. In the Senate race, our poll shows the Democratic incumbent Reverend Raphael Warnock holding a nine point lead over the Republican challenger Herschel Walker. That is well beyond the survey USA's poll margin of error of 5.3%. Meet me for lunch by noon. It's going to be warm, though. Temperatures right around 88 degrees. We'll have partly sunny skies on the outside. By 3 o'clock, there could be some isolated showers around. Temperatures right at 92 degrees. Going up to about 93 for a high. We'll drop back down to 90 degrees by 6 o'clock with a few of those isolated thunderstorms around. You were already talking about food. Now you're talking about lunch. I we said charbroil oysters for today. I'm, I'm in. Let's do it. I'm in for you're lobster. In. Thinking about that Mega Millions on it's your tab, right? Burger. Just a regular, oh, okay. you know. <laughs> you're paying. Right, yeah. How about that? Always, always, <laughs> always. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for joining us.